our brains store a lot of different memories from throughout our lives. Yeah, but one thing we don't really remember is when we were babies, and now apparently some new research explains why that is. Before we even get into this, do do you remember, like, what's your earliest memories of, of childhood? Do you remember, you don't remember the moment you were a baby. No. No, I don't no. remember that. No, no, but I think there's some just memories from childhood, like things that I did with like, with friends, uh -huh. like playing outside, and just yeah. moments that. Those are your time. earliest memories, though. I think so. You have like an earliest memory? little fragments, like three, four, or five years old, like yeah. Yeah, a birthday, like just messing around outside, just no, nothing like really whole, nothing like nothing major, concrete. Yeah. I do kind of have some memories from kindergarten. You do? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah. I remember being in kindergarten, saying wanting to learn how to read mm -hmm. in this yeah. plastic bin where they stored all the books. And things like that. So why don't we have memories from inf like when we're like babies? Well, according to these findings, it's not that you don't have these memories from being an infant. Mm -hmm. It's just that you have trouble accessing those memories. So it's locked away in there. It's mm -hmm. stored away someplace, but we just can't access it. We just it right can't now. access it. Um, mm. So the researchers, they study the hippocampus. That's the part of our brain that's linked to your emotions yeah. and your memory mm -hmm. and uh, your autonomic nervous system. But um, they conducted these experiments. They were on babies that were ages four to 24 months. Yeah. And so they found that this particular part of the brain was more active in older infants when it came to like encoding those memories and sort of ingraining them. Compared so to like New, like new newborn yeah, infants? Yeah, okay. compared to the, the newer babies, younger babies. And they said that some of that may have to do with um, maybe the younger babies not really understanding the value or the importance of that information when yeah. they're receiving it. Because mm -hmm. you're so young, yeah. Yeah, to know that it's information that mm -hmm. should be committed long term. I guess that would explain, like, as we get older, we do tend to remember things more because we have, we're able to process those yes. things and we can store that away. Some of my earliest memories just feel like dreams to me. You know what really? I mean? Like, like how I recall dreams. They just yeah. seem like they were there, but I wasn't actually there. I needed a journey as a baby apparently yeah. because that made me able to remember some of those memories a little bit yeah. more. Well, isn't it funny how like we will remember things when we were kids we remember things a certain way like when we were like five six years old we remember it a certain way right and then you hear your parents and, and your parents like, like no, no, no 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 that is not what happened but we stored it in our brains like yeah. you just alluded to mm -hmm. we stored it in our, in our memories that certain way you know exactly and and so you hold on to it in that way um, but then when you're really really li really little you're probably seeing something and you're not knowing that this is something you should keep. Or you have no idea. Or you have no idea that it's yeah. important or not important. And you kind of develop that ability to discern, I think, as we age That's and get older. Yeah. That's yeah. really interesting research. I wonder what they're going to use that research for moving forward. Yeah. And if eventually maybe babies would be able to remember yeah. what they, you know, when they were really young. So really interesting. That's what I'm going to see.